Hi and welcome back to part two of the Aquapore. So it's a 39 times 11 canvas. We're going to be pouring in a three cups. All my, all my paints are mixed up now as I'll show you in the previous video. All to a nice consistency. So we're going to try and create the Aquapore. We're going to do three cups, three 500 mil cups. So one third each colour. Obviously we're going to try and put, as I said before, a heavier green um, metallic diner in the middle and try and incorporate all the aqua colours into a nice fresh look. So we've got oil in every single colour. Obviously not in the white. We never use the white with oil. Okay. So we're going to do a bit of a sandwich mix, a nice layer of white first. So about one third to start with, one third of the cup. That's fine. Touch of the blue. Just some height, I'll try and get the mix through. And then we'll go to this one. Not in this one yet. And then the pearlescent aqua green. And I just try and pour it away from each other. Just a tad in the middle one. This one contrasts nice with the green, so bit of that. The other diner blue. Blue, green, and green, blue in the diners. And now with the diner green and yellow. Again, not too much in this one. Just a hint. That'll do you. That's fine. Now we've got the silver. Silver metallic. We're going to drop into this one. And this one, and a small amount in the middle one. Just going to try and keep it quite fresh in the middle one, and heavier on the ends. So now, the middle one, and I'm going a bit heavier. Now some more white. This is what we call the sandwich. That's fine. Now we should have more than enough paint on these. Sandwich mix. Try a bit more green on that one. a tiny bit on the top. Again, just feel free to mix however you feel. Add more silver.
I'm much more poor, we may add some more of the yellow green into the center. So that's more than enough paint. Obviously we're doing about one third each coverage. So not even 500 mils. So it's probably about 450 mils in each of these, which is gonna cover this. So you are gonna waste quite a lot of paint doing these pours. So there's oil in all of these. So we should get some cells coming through. Just give that a few a few minutes. So the white will come down, the two whites. We're gonna get a few cells on these ones. So say this is the aqua pour and it's a 39 times 11. And there's some Windsor canvas, which I always tend to use, which are good quality. This is all taped up underneath as well. Like I said before, all my canvases are masked and taped underneath. Obviously with the pouring method, a lot comes over the edges. Nobody wants a messy underneath. I know it goes, goes in the wall, you won't see it, or goes in a frame, but a nice and clean underneath is what we're looking for. Okay, we'll take this one off. Some lovely aqua colours there. And I'll take the end one off first. Again, some really nice aqua colours there. Just going to try and get them going to the edges before I release this one. And down to that corner. This just saves just making more of a mess. So make sure we get them corners. Okay, a lot of the paint's running off there. So now we can add the green. Hold this back a bit here. Let this run over here a bit. Starting to sell up already. waste quite a lot of paint doing this method but don't worry and then we'll just try and move it into each other again some lovely aqua colors the green all the blues Starting to sell up already, and we will torch. Just going to try and run. Just going to try and run this off air. I'm not too sure with that bit there. Just going to try and get that off the edge. As you see, the metallic greens. Beautiful. Better.
one thing I meant to add as well, before I all summer pause, I always make sure I level anything out with a level. Make sure everything's level um, with the drying process. If it's not level, it's just going to run everywhere. So say some lovely, lovely aqua colours of your heavier green here with all the mixes here and the blues and the greens. Really nice effect. And the greens again will pop through here. And you can see the cells coming now. We are going to torch this in a minute to try and bring some more cells out. But as you can see, but as we said before, I always never torch until I'm really happy with everything. As I said before, otherwise we can create a big skin. And that's horrible. Just get your corners. But if you try when doing a large pour like this, as you see, if you've poured all three in once, it's very hard to control the effect you want. So like I said, I poured them two first, held that one, and then added that one at the end. And that way, otherwise that green would have been over here, it would have been all over the place. This just creates a more of a stunning effect. And as it dries, the cells are just gonna keep coming and coming. Should we get all your corners? So there's plenty of runoff paint to do this. So you do lose quite a lot of paint creating these methods. But these colours, say, in a bathroom are absolutely fantastic. A couple of little spots there with bubbles. Looking really good. Just make sure all the corners are covered. So really important tape up underneath though when doing these messy pores. So the mix is always a 50-50 with the liquid X as I said before. greens here, the cells coming through. You've got the whites, the blue green, the green blue and the pearlescent um, aqua green, which I mix myself, mix myself. You can see that coming through here. Just a pearlescent white mixed with a sky blue, tad of green to give the pearlescent pale green. It's like an aqua green, I call it, but I always use it in these pores. Makes such a difference in this areas and this areas. As you can see, lots of cells coming through there. And I think with the cells um, coming into a bathroom, wet room area, gives such a good impression. It was like water, water bubbles, which is quite cool. So just give this a go. Just follow my steps. Um, you'll, be, you'll be fine. Obviously just do three cups. So it's 39 times 11. Windsor Newton. Again, the best, the best out there. Any water bubbles there, just pop them. And the cells are coming. You could not even torch this and get some fantastic cells. But I'm going to get some more cells coming through the middle. So make sure you cut from there. away. I want some heavy cells through this middle.
And as you see, it was literally just tiny amounts, tiny amounts of oil, silicon oil. I think that's where a lot of people go wrong. Just too many, too much oil. They have the WD-40 spray out. They over oil, over complicate things. You keep it simple. It's amazing the, the cells you can get. It's a small, small, small quantity. And in the cup, obviously, just literally, once the oil is added, just stir very, very, just once or very loosely. Over stirring is no good either. So, as you can see, some lovely cells coming through here. I'm going to leave that. That's quite nice there but it gives the, the sort of water effect. So I hope you like this, my third tutorial. You say please like and subscribe on my YouTube channel. I will be posting these all up as we speak. And if you fancy, if you look at all my work on Nick Morrell Abstracts on Facebook, anything you, th you think if you want to know any questions or you'd like me to do next in the next tutorial, just put a comment or message me. I'm happy to help. So these are just my views and my methods. You can have your own methods that work a lot better. Um, but these are the results that I get from the, method, the methods I use. So when I first started, I got into the right messes and a lot of my work ended up in the bin, just by trying to overcomplicate things really. Just keep it simple. And with a large canvas like this, they literally do not try and pour all three at once. It just, to me, it goes into a mess. Um, this way you can create some stunning effects. Obviously, you can a colour there you want. It's all in one one big painting. But as we wanted, I wanted the big green, yellow, green through there. It's got some silver in it as well. Silver's here, coming through. Just a tad of silver, just to break it up. And I hope you watched um, the last tutorial, which I put up today, was how we um, glossed. The varnish gloss to create a mirror and again this one will probably go in the bathroom um, this one is actually already sold one of my customers wanted this one for their bathroom it was a wet room actually and so I will be doing four coats of the Liquitex high gloss varnish on this one so it's bulletproof um, obviously for a wet room it gets quite damp in there um, you can always silicon um, seal underneath as well which sometimes I do with like a waterproof spray which I'll probably do on this one, as it's going in a wet room. So it's quite a large wet room, but it would be quite wet. So I should probably silicon spray, seal it underneath, as well as four coats to give it that high gloss look, which um, the customers ask for. And it's gonna stand long ways. It's gonna be a nice piece in their bathroom. So I shall um, call that one finished. And I shall show you, I'm gonna leave it now. It's gonna sell up more as it dries, um, but I hope you like this one. So this is the aqua, my version of an aqua pour with a heavier green, but some lovely fresh, this is a real fresh piece. Okay guys, until you see you next time, say please like and subscribe my channel and hit that bell. And then when I post a new video up, it will pop up on your YouTube. Um, I should try and post a bit on Facebook as well. Um, I did join a few groups on there, acrylicspouring.co, um, but for some reason they blocked me. They didn't like me putting my stuff on there or links to YouTube. Um, I'll say I've done this for no monetary value, values at all. It's just to, sh just to show you the techniques and try and help you on the way. As I needed, when I started, I was looking at everything, YouTube videos, and you pick a lot up by that. 
Um, it's very complicated, a lot of it. So I've just tried to simplify it all down for you, make it as easy as possible. Um, it's the best way to learn. Um, but I should put some on Facebook. So I did get blocked on one of the channels, the big channels. Um, don't know why, but obviously they um, didn't like my links um, and thought it was for some monetary values um, for myself. But obviously make no money on this. Obviously I do sell my art. I sell all my art. Um, but not through YouTube and not through Facebook. It's just through um, customers that contact me. Okay, so thanks again for watching, guys, and say please subscribe.